what is the best Altacell machine? That question I'm going to answer in a couple of minutes, but in the meantime, I'd like to present you with some considerations so you can derive your conclusions yourself. These three images, image number one, image number two, and image number three, were all taken with one, the same Altasar machine. All three images were taken at the same time. They were taken on the same anatomy, which is a femoral nerve, the same ultrasound position. We only have changed the size of these images pretty much. So the image number one is a zoomed out image. The image number two is a zoomed out even more image. And image number three is an enlarged or large image, which came directly from the ultrasound screen. So what we see over here is that I can immediately recognize the femoral artery, I can recognize the fascia iliaca, and the nerve that is contained between the two layers of the fascia iliaca, which is a femoral nerve. If I go to the even more zoomed out image, that seems to be a bit more compressed. And it's also pretty easy to pick out the femoral nerve and the fascia iliaca, as well as the femoral artery, which is immediate to it, and the iliacus muscle, which is underneath the fascia. Now, when I move to the large image, it's supposed to be a lot better, but my mind is starting to get lost in the maze of the information. The image is simply very large, and it takes some time to get adjusted to it. Now, when we are already primed with the small images, it might be a little bit easier, but imagine if you only had this image without a prior reference, it would be a lot more difficult, actually, to pick up the anatomical information for such a large image. So that is the femoral artery, that is the fascia iliaca, and that's the femoral nerve between the two layers of the fascia iliaca, and that's the iliacus muscle. So now you're starting to get closer to the answer. The best ultrasound machine is the one that you have on you, which is the one that you know how to use, and you're used to its sonoanatomy patterns. And the best way to ingrain those sonoanatomy patterns is to do a lot of sonogramming. And once you ingrain those patterns, you become very quick in identifying the anatomy. A shortcut to ingraining the sonoanatomy anatomy patterns is to watch the Nysora's reverse ultrasound anatomy animations. Those we have specifically built that go from the ultrasound image to the illustrations, back to the image, again to the illustration, and back and forth until your brain solidifies these sonar anatomy patterns so the next time you place a transducer on a patient, you're immediately able to recognize those patterns that you have ingrained through the video practice.